Hello, my name is Stephen Hewitt. I'm one of the trustees of the Lancaster, Morecambe and District Churches Debt Centre. We work at Christians Against Poverty, helping people who are in chronic debt situations. But I'm also one of the pastors at Stanley Road Baptist Church in Morecambe. So I spend quite a bit of time walking along the promenade. And if you walk along the promenade in Morecambe, you can't fail to notice, particularly on a sunny day like it is today, the wonderful imposing mountains and hills of the Lake District across the bay. But there's no sense as you look at them There'd be no sense of you going over there and moving them. There may be times when you walk on the promenade and the clouds down and you can't actually see that they're there, but you know they are still there, that they've not been moved. Nobody goes and literally moves mountains. But we still use this phrase, move mountains. I would move mountains in order to do this or to do that. Something that uh, illustrates the fact that something's really hard to do. It's going to take a lot of energy, a lot of resources. It's going to bring real long lasting change, something that moves mountains. In many ways, our world at the moment is moving mountains in order to get a vaccine for COVID-19. But this phrase move mountains is one that's popular with Jesus. We read it a number of times in the Gospels. And here in Matthew 17, verse 20, he says to his disciples, you have so little faith, he says. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, a mustard seed is basically like a speck of dust, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Now, as a debt centre, we meet uh, clients. We've met 63 clients or households in the past two and a half years since the centre was founded. And many of those clients have reached out. They've heard about the work of CAP from a friend, a family member, a referral agency, the doctors or something. And they've reached out to CAP because they're stuck. They're stuck in debt situations. Those debt situations are often caused by a variety of factors, many of them not the fault of the client themselves. But they're stuck. And it's sad to say that uh, CAP figures nationally say that 11% of people who call CAP call CAP having already attempted suicide. If you're someone who's been aware of the impact of suicide on a family, on, on a friendships, on relationships, you know that people therefore are in a really significant situation. So it's wonderful that through the support of local churches and local Christians, through when people locally cry out for help, they can get that help now through Christians Against Poverty and their local debt centre. That help comes through Jono, our debt centre manager, and from September from our new debt coach, Susie. And they are people of faith, they are Christians. They go into the situation in the name of Jesus. They go alongside other Christians, representatives from the local church. They go as Christian disciples. Now, it may be that you're watching this video and you're somebody who's involved. Maybe your church is a supporter of the work. Can I just say thank you? And I hope that this message that we're sharing today will bring encouragement. Because what does Jesus say to these disciples, people like ourselves? He says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there. Now, when we meet clients, in many ways, they're saying, I'm in a mountain of debt, or I'm stuck on a mountain. There's such a mountain of debt. I'm stuck halfway up. I can't go back down and I can't see the end. They're in a mountain of debt. What they're saying, can you take this mountain of debt off my shoulders? I need it to move from here to there somewhere else so I can feel free again. Now, through Christians Against Poverty and the plans that they help people uh, deal with, they're, they're, it enables them to, to face up to the debt and start to bring the debt down if that's going to be possible. And it's wonderful to see locally how that's happened in a number of cases. But through only the volunteers in the debt centre and the people at CAP going in and saying, we have faith in Christ. We do see that this is a real issue. It's causing great suffering in your life. We can see that. But in the name of Christ, we believe that change can happen, that mountains can be moved, that actually in this situation, you faced up to it and with the support of the, the debt centre and with the support, of the, the support of CAP people in Bradford, that actually nothing is impossible. Why do we believe that? Because as Jesus says here, it's about our faith and where we put our faith. We as Christians, the people supporting clients, the people in Bradford on the phone dealing with creditors and again supporting the clients, are followers of Christ. Their faith, even if it's a tiny, as small as a mustard seed, a mustard seed has life. Jesus in another parable talks about the mustard seed being the biggest tree in the garden. Even the faith as small as the mustard seed has great power. Why? Because it's in Christ.
It's in Christ. Christ, the one who came, lived and died on the cross, removed the debt of our sin from here on our shoulders to there away from us on his. Dealt with it at the cross that we may go free. So as Christians involved in whatever ministry we're in, but particularly as we're thinking today, this ministry of the debt centre, we go in his name, in the freedom of knowing him and with the power of Christ within. As we walk with people up their mountains, as we help them, we pray by the grace of God to get to the summit and be declared debt free. May we go in confidence that the Lord Jesus Christ goes with us and empowers us. May that be our experience as Christians and as all those involved in the work of the Debt Centre. Thank you for listening. Amen.